Hello, hello everybody, it's Girl Got Game, and welcome to Psychedelica of the Black Butterfly by Idea Factory. Look at how gorgeous this looks! I am so excited to jump into a new series with you guys, it's been a long time coming. And this has been on my recommended list for ages, so yeah. All kinds of good things are in our future, I feel like. I'm very, very excited to start this. So, this game does have a recommended root order, and it's an interesting recommended root order, because there are common root endings, and those are suggested to be done first. And one of the common root endings is called Best Ending. So before you even, like, think about looking at these, uh, these guys that are on the screen, it's like, no do the common root best ending, and then the other common root endings. And then after you've done that, the intro can play. And then after you've done that, <laughs> after you've done that, you can figure out the next order of guys. I mean, there's a list I'm gonna follow. It's not gonna be the first guy I meet, but we're gonna follow the order and hopefully get to some kind of ending. I'm gonna move around so that the thing doesn't play, hopefully. Um, the other thing is that this game has a flowchart system that you navigate to get to different routes and stuff too, I believe. So I don't know what that means yet, but we're gonna find out. I figured with all my experience of flowcharts in the letter, I should be well equipped for this. Right? Right. We're gonna go with that and hope for the best. And other than that, have I done enough yakking? I feel like there was one other thing I was gonna say, but can't have been that important if I can't remember what it is, can it? Let's just get into it. If I remember, I'll blather about it later. Um, K to confirm. Right, buttons. There's our cute little girl. I, Minato. I mean, sure. Can I just click on this or will it not let me? It does. Yeah, let's go default this time. Why not? Uh, ooh, a protagonist voice. That is a nice option to have. I like when games give you that option. But everything is gonna be moi, yours truly, so no. Let's jump in. I, Minato. Prologue. Aw oh, man, this gives me such amnesia memories vibes. Actually, that was the other thing I was going to say. Hold on a second. After the spooky thing, I'll tell you- Whoa! Why are we zooming through life? Was that intentional? Was that intentional? Okay. I'm like, why did we just like, zoom through all that dialogue? Okay, that was intentional. I finally remembered. The other thing. Amnesia memories. <laughs> Um, so, apparently, not only our protagonist has amnesia, but all the guys have amnesia, too. So we're not alone this time in being amnesiacs. Unless the guys are lying to us. I didn't think about that till right now. But we're gonna find out. Okay, that was the other thing. Moving on now. I'm falling. Not auto. I gotta figure out what the buttons are for this thing. Not backlog. No, not auto again. Escape doesn't help me, huh? Okay, there's my flow chart. Interesting. This is... I'm gonna have to get used to this. Oh. Okay, well, we don't have much to look. There's prologue one and prologue two? I am so confused. This is gonna take me ages to figure out, like, what am I doing right now? Can I somehow set the buttons to not be the worst? Uh, device? I do want a keyboard. Do I have a thing about, like, hey, you know, here's what your buttons do. That would be too easy, wouldn't it? 
Ugh. I do not like the buttons they have assigned for this. I'm going to assume the letter K will maybe make me go forward. For now. Yeah, I don't see anything about... Okay, well, we're just gonna make do. We'll figure this out. I'm falling. K is the letter to continue this. Okay. As I fall deeper into the abyss, I feel resistance, like I'm underwater. Consciousness hazy, senses fuzzy. Past and future held in my hands, melding together as one. My thinking clouded, I try to comprehend the situation as I slowly open my eyes. And yet the only thing that comes into view is a pitch black darkness. I stare into it absentmindedly and begin to feel deluded as though the world and I are one. I try to find the place where I begin within this space. I feel like I'm floating, dancing through the air like a butterfly. Really? I'm either drowning in the air or flapping my wings in the sea. I can't tell. I close my eyes again and my strength leaves me. Just let everything go. Casting away all my thoughts and emotions, I continue the descent in my vulnerable state. After what seems like an eternity, I sense a bright light somewhere, and my fingertips make contact with the bottom. This feels like the beginning of most Kingdom Hearts games, if I'm being honest. Well, this is beautiful to look at. <gasps> I feel the coolness of the floor on my cheek as I come to my senses. Where am I? And why was I sleeping here? Still only vaguely conscious, I slowly get up and take a look at my surroundings. An open space with a high ceiling and walls patterned with beautiful geometric shapes. I love the wallpaper. The stone walls are polished to a shine and an elaborate chandelier hangs overhead. Detailed engravings coil up the nearby pillars and the candle holders affixed to them emanate a soft light that fills the room with a gentle brightness. Seems like the main hall of a mansion. What am I doing here? I tug at the threads of my memory, trying to recall how I ended up here, but my recollection cuts off after a certain point. We look like we were on a bus in the beginning, maybe? I can't remember. Why am I here? For that matter, I... I can't remember anything! Who am I? Where's my spirit bug to lead me? Direct me, oh spirit bug! No matter how many times I turn things over in my mind, nothing in my memory offers any clues. Who am I? What am I doing here? I stand on unsteady legs and start to walk, with so many questions burning in my mind. Just as I pass by the central stairway... Now somebody else is here. Huh? I hear a faint voice from somewhere. Is there someone there? I turn in the direction of the sound and spot a young girl in a sailor uniform curled up in the fetal position by a pillar. Um, are you okay? Do you feel sick? A masked girl. <laughs> oh, that's terrifying. The girl turns toward me, and I see that her face is covered by a creepy goat mask. What's the deal with that? There's something off about her, too. I fall back a step or two at the sight of her. Why? I... I can't... What? No! <gasps> oh... She suddenly lets loose an ear-splitting shriek. An instant later, she is engulfed in some sort of black thing, and her skin changes colors as though it is burning. W what's happening? What's this black mist? Nah! 
Eyes wide, I gasp at the unreal sight before me. All I can do is stare as the girl transforms into a horrific monster. Okay. Well, this is troubling, to say the least. No way! The monster rises with uncertainty, like a child that has just awoken. This can't be real. Yeah. It's all a dream. That's why I'm here in this unfamiliar place all alone. I tell myself that none of this is real. Although the creature has no eyes, I feel as if it looks right at me. Huh? Hey. No. Stay away. Get away from me! The beast lets out a low-pitched growl as it inches towards me. N no! Run, girl, run! Oh man, we're like in a creepy hotel or something now. I sprint away at full speed trying to escape. Why is it following me? And what's the deal with this mansion? I look ahead but can't seem to locate the end of the hallway. My surroundings all start to look the same as I run. What am I gonna do? It's gonna catch up! Turn out a corner, maybe? What if it's a dead end? I'm getting tired and starting to slow down. As if in contrast, the monster starts to pick up its own pace. Now what? Ah! Suddenly, something grabs my flailing arms and drags me into the shadows. First guy, hopefully? No! Somebody help! Shh! Keep it down. Whoever it is, they cover up my mouth. In response, I look over at the owner of the hand. Ah, first guy! Two mold man? Oh, he does have two moles. That is a weird... <coughs> that is a really weird uh, thing to focus on. But I guess if you're looking at his face... Like, he's got a really cool poncho thingy, you know? The monster has bad eyesight. You can give it the slip if you hide. I nod and the person removes his hand from my mouth. He takes a cautious look around the hallway from behind the pillar. I take it there are more of those things then? So there are other people here. Holding my breath, I pull him in close. As I do, I can sense that the monster is now close by. Having lost sight of its prey, the beast stops and starts to look around. Please. Go away! Please! Maybe someone was listening. I want to know what the running water sound is. Like, am I the only one hearing that? Like, what is that? After standing still for a short while, the monster tromps off elsewhere. Yay? It's gone. Thank goodness. The man pushes me away by the shoulders and gives the area a cautious look. Um... Uh... What was that thing? She was just a normal girl at first. Uh, no. Well, she had this strange mask on, so maybe she wasn't quite normal. But then she turned into that monster! Calm down. I don't know what's going on either. Do you know where we are? I just woke up and found myself here. Hold on. Let's talk about this someplace else. Huh? That thing might come back. We've got to get out of here. Seems like a sensible precaution. Should be safe over there. We can run for it if something happens. Right. We walk to a place with a wide view of the area. Hidden behind a pillar, we take a good look at one another. I'm glad I found someone I can talk to. Um... Can we talk now? Hmm. About where we are. Oh. 
For a moment, he looks slightly confused and then slowly opens his mouth. I just woke up and found myself here too. I was in a room up ahead, but I realized something was off here after I looked around a bit. He's in the same situation as me, then. Do I also have a cool poncho? And you? What are you doing here? I... um... Don't know. How about your name? You look like you're still a student. Do you know how old you are? When I try to remember, a sharp pain shoots through my head. I have no memory. I can't remember my birthday or my parents' faces. Do you not remember anything either? N no, I don't. Wait, either? Yeah. It's the same for me. I don't know when I came here or what I was doing. I can't even remember who I am. That is quite the pose of like, ooh! <laughs> you see something scary over there, sir? Can I make this disappear? No, I can't. Right click does bring up the menu though, that's good to know. I wanted to take a more of a look at his outfit, but apparently that is not a thing. At least not one that I figured out yet. I was hoping you might have had some recollection of something. Then... we both have amnesia. Huh. Sounds too crazy to be true. Guess it is, though. <laughs> the man gives a quick laugh and rummages through his pockets. What are you doing? Looking for an ID or something. Thought I might find something useful. Oh, that reminds me. I didn't check my clothes. I slip my hand into my skirt pocket to see if anything is inside. My hand grazes something cold and hard. Is this... a cell phone? Of all the things to have, a cell phone. I remove the phone from my pocket and press the power button. The first thing I notice is the time. What? 8974? Are we counting down? Feeling shaken by the obvious error, I flip through the phone's menus. I can't find anything meaningful. But then I open my message inbox. Oh! There's a single message. I'm pretty much grasping at straws by this point, so I open the message to check its contents. Locate the kaleidoscope shards. Well, thanks, that's clear as mud. Kaleidoscope shards? Doesn't seem like a code or anything. You don't remember anything like this? No, I don't. <laughs> I like this face. This wham. I don't get it. Like, a literal kaleidoscope. Or maybe it's referring to something completely different. I hand him the phone and he repeats the message on the screen. There's no sender info for it. What could it mean? The cell phone is weird too. Did you find anything on your end? I have a cell phone too. Only one message on it from an unknown sender. What did it say? There is only one way to leave the manor. Nothing else. Only one way to leave the manor. Seems like somebody put us in this situation. We wouldn't have messages like this otherwise. Could someone be watching us right now? I don't see cameras anywhere. Suddenly, I hear some sort of howl from far away. It makes me jump in fright. It's okay. That was far away. Y yeah you're right. We can't stay here, though. Otherwise, we'll run into that thing again. We have to find the exit. Exit? As in the main exit? Oh, I know the way! You do. If he just means the entrance, then... I was there originally. I paid attention when I was running through these halls. 
All right. Seems like it's clear. Come on out. Okay. The man signals for me to step out from cover. We return to the main hall and I am once again captivated by its magnificence. Aw, oh, he's so happy. You're lucky you woke up in the main hall. Hmm. Maybe I'd have thought so, if not for the whole attacked by a monster thing. Seems like getting chased up and down the halls like that is actually pretty rotten luck, if you ask me. Anyways, let's head outside. He pushes the big, heavy door as hard as he can. Ugh! It won't open! The door won't budge. No! I rush up to help him. Weak as I am, though, I'm of no help in moving the sturdy door. Well, we tried. All I'm able to do is rattle the brass door handles. No way! Could it be locked from outside? I take a few steps back and survey the whole door. I see something unusual in the corner of my eye. Lots of butterflies. A black butterfly? A black butterfly wrapped in a gloomy shadow flutters before me and then vanishes. I feel a frightful unease. What the heck is going on? Hey, snap out of it. What? His voice calls out to me and returns me to my senses. I follow his line of sight and... Well... Ah! The monstrous beast from earlier is slowly making its way back to where it came from. We have to run! It's no use. We're surrounded. What are you... I look across the manor and see a similar monster growling as it approaches us. What is happening? What do we do? They're so close, they'd catch us even if we try to make a run for it. <gasps> ah! My body freezes in fear and the monster's claws streak down towards me. Whoa! Did you just take that from me? I love the movement of these... Of like, looking around rooms, characters, like, just moving in and out, like, it's great. Ooh. But there is no pain. Instead, I see that the man has protected me, a crimson streak of blood oozing from his arm. Well, you may have no memories, but you're very brave. I... I... I said to snap out of it! Do you want to die? I... I'm sorry! Ugh! His clothes are wet with blood as he groans in pain. He's bleeding so badly! It's my fault for freezing up! The scent of iron and the sight of the dripping blood forces me to accept that this is reality. What now? Spying an opportunity, the monster leaps up and brings its arm down upon us. This is the end! I close my eyes, waiting for the impact. But... Did somebody bring a gun? What? The next moment I realize that the one who got struck wasn't me. An earth-shattering scream rends the air, and then the monster is on the ground, squirming as it melts away. Up until a moment ago, it was a solid thing, but now it shimmers like some kind of heat haze with a black outline. Before long... Well, that was beautiful. The giant body shatters into a kaleidoscope of black butterflies, which are absorbed into the necklace of the person now standing at the top of the stairwell? Okay... Who is that? Who is that? Why do you have a whirly windmill thing in your tail? What is this persona outfit? What are you wearing? I mean, I love the cape. And nice necklace. I don't know if that belt is helping you at all, but I mean... You're 
kind of cool looking, but also you confuse me. <laughs> hmm. Okay. From a few meters away, a man holds a gun at the ready. The fox mask he wears prevents me from seeing his facial expression. Did he save us? Or... <laughs> I try to approach him, but he turns away and shoots the other monster down without hesitation. It turned into black butterflies again. As if they have found a place to die, the butterflies are drawn up into the necklace. The man in the mask takes the necklace between his fingers and raises it up to eye level. After checking something carefully, he makes to walk away without a word. Wait! Do you live here? Why are you wearing that mask? Hey! Are you crazy? Look at how suspicious that guy is! But I... The man in the fox mask looks briefly at us as we mutter to one another. Apparently losing interest, he disappears into the second floor hallway. Well, thanks for ruining our only chance of getting some answers here. <sighs> you're so reckless. You can hardly protect yourself, but you're still trying to chat up strangers. We don't even know if he's on our side. Hey, you helped save me from a monster earlier. You don't know if I was on your side. I'm sorry. He did save us from that monster, though. Oh no! Your arm! You're bleeding badly! It hurts a bit, but the cut didn't go as deep as it looks. Let's just think about how to get out of here. But... No time to treat the wound. If those things attack us again, our lives will be in danger. Okay... As he turns towards the door, I try to think of what to do next. That's when I notice something shining where one of the monsters used to be. Ooh. What's this? A glass shard? It's all glittery. How beautiful. What are you doing? Oh, nothing! I put the glittery thing into my pocket and turn my attention to the door behind me. I'm following the instructions on my cell phone, okay? It seems like a good idea. <laughs> this thing just won't budge. Could it be locked? Hard to say. It's an extremely thick door, but the design's pretty simple. If I slam into it, I might just be able to pry it open. Stand back. Stand back? He gestures me away with his chin and then slams into the door with his uninjured shoulder. <laughs> yeah! <sighs> One more time! That is two times. He rams into the door over and over again, but it remains tightly shut. If you keep that up, you're gonna hurt your other arm! Let's try to think of something else! But... The monsters might notice us again if we keep making this much noise! Yeah... You're right. We take a few steps back to survey the entrance. The double doors have hinges in three sections. Just as he said, it looks like it could be broken by force. It sure isn't going to be that easy, though. There's no lock on the inside where you'd expect one. And if the door won't move, that must mean... Other new character? Somebody barred it up from outside. <laughs> oh. Well, you look friendly. You're probably the Andari, aren't you? Droopy-eyed man. <laughs> Uh-huh. That does make the most sense, I guess. A gentle-looking man shows up seemingly out of thin air and finishes my sentence before I can. Who is he? When did he... 
Actually, never mind all that. Does he? Do you know something? Could you be- What? When I try to approach the man, I feel my arm being grabbed and a hard glare burning into me. What did I just say about approaching random people, girl? He's so angry. I like him, though. Didn't I tell you before? Don't just run up to people you don't know. I know that, but I... What are you doing just waltzing on over to him without a care in the world, then? But... He's not like the ones with the masks from earlier. He seems so... Gentle. Me looks can be deceiving. Okay? Oh my. Could it be that you're suspicious of me? Yeah. No offense, but we can't trust you. You don't need to be so blunt! Uh, well... What would you like me to do? I'd like for you to trust me, but I don't exactly know who I am either. You don't? I woke up here a few days ago. I don't know what I'm doing here in this manner. I attempted to leave, but the door simply refuses to open. He's in the same boat as us! I was right, he's not suspicious at all! I mean, if you believe his story, sure. Um... I'm sorry we doubted you. The same thing happened to us. We woke up in the manor, and then... I see. Then, I suppose it is safe to assume that we're colleagues of a sort. That's such a relief. I was so very lonely on my own. Would you mind if I accompanied you? Not at all! My response is spirited, but again I become aware of a sharp glare pointed my way. I look up and see a disgusted look in the other man's eyes. Um... Is that a problem? I just like it if you ask before you make decisions like that. He does seem pretty harmless, though. Oh, he realizes it too. That's good. We need as many allies as we can get right now. After heaving a sigh of relief, I notice that the gentle-looking man is giving me an earnest look. Um... Is there something you want from me? No. It's just... Have we met someplace before? Um... Have we? Would you think about our situation a little before you start hitting on women? <laughs> I mean, no time like the present. He's been lonely for a few days. <laughs> Blushing and like, Whoa, wait, no, I didn't mean like that. That's not what I... Well... In any case, we should get away from this place. I actually know of a hideout we can make use of. The monsters will be unable to enter, too. I can take you there if you'd like. Follow me. <laughs> he still doesn't trust him. We have to treat his wounds, though. Okay, let's go! Whoa! In spite of his suspicion, I take him by the arm and drag him towards the so-called hideout. Why do I feel like her and him are going to be childhood friends? The the two mold man, that is. The other guy, I'm not sure yet. That's just my initial impression. Well, I think that's a good start. We've met some interesting characters, some more interesting than others. Uh, I love the vibe of this. It gives me such strong um, Diabolic Lovers vibes. Mostly because we're in a really cool looking mansion. So, I mean, that's the only <laughs> parallel, really. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I'm intrigued, to say the least. I like the boys we've met so far. I like our girl. And the art is gorgeous, so I'm excited to see what's going to happen next. I hope you guys have enjoyed the first episode of what is probably going to be many. Alright, 
Until next time, guys, I will see you later.